It is really rocking out there now. Hang in there, little guy. You're welcome to come in if you want to. But, oh, there's the other squirrel up there. Oh, man. Up there under the light, there's the other squirrel that got caught in the open. Look at that. That is smart. He's up there underneath the security lights. There's two of them. All right, guys, hang in there. We'll talk to you later. I got to get... Hang in there, buddy. Animals have a built-in common sense. One smart squirrel. Just get up under the eave and lay flat and ride this sucker out. Smarter than a lot of humans. That is one nasty storm. Makes you wonder what happens to squirrels that. Uh, I mean, Florida is the lightning capital of the United States, and you get so many lightning strikes. It makes you wonder what happens to squirrels that are living up in the trees when the lightning storm hits. Buddy, you can come in the house if you want, dude. I don't want to come in.
the storm is coming through now. The wind is switched around, so he's getting hit by the wind and the rain right now. Hang in there, little guy. Whoa, you can come in the house if you want. It's a bad day to get caught in the... Right. Tough little guys. It's amazing he knows to stay calm and just ride it out. Not very often they get caught in the open like that. See, I don't want to raise the uh, blind to get a better picture because if I raise the blind, it might scare him and make his life harder than it needs to be. So we'll just leave him be. It is really rocking out there now. Hang in there, little guy. You're welcome to come in if you want to. Right. Oh, there's the other squirrel up there. Oh, man. Up there under the light, there's the other squirrel that got caught in the open. Look at that, that is smart. He's up there underneath the security lights. There's two of them. Alright guys, hang in there. We'll talk to you later. I gotta get... and smart and cool calm they're just sitting there totally uh, calm as can be and laying flat I mean that's got more common sense than that is pretty impressive so this one the one I've been watching then when I open the door again and look I just happen to see there's another one there's a security light up underneath the eave there you can't see the squirrel but the other second squirrel is up up there in actually a much safer location Of course, with any Florida thunderstorm, the biggest danger is lightning, and uh, it applies to animals too, but they just kind of instinctively know to huddle. A lot of lightning with this one, it was just, you know, imagine what it's like out there. For the squirrels up in a tree when these kind of storms come through, you don't really think about that, but just think what it's like to be up in a squirrel's nest in a tree with all this lightning around. And they know. I've been around squirrels for many, many decades. I've never had an opportunity to witness this kind of behavior. It's He's just, she is just deadly serious and flat as can be. Whoa. Big storm just making a direct hit on the backyard. How's it going out there, guys? Hang on there, I think the worst of it's about over. Sit tight, we'll ride this one out. It's 
It's actually squirrels, of course, are smarter than me. And I shouldn't really be opening the door in the lightning storm, but uh, they take it seriously. That's impressive. You can just look at the expression on the face and. No, they're just going to ride this out. They know what they're doing. What will be interesting to see is uh, how they react to the passing storm. He sees she. I don't want to call her a he, it's a she. <laughs> I just got a, a uh, alert that the weather service had put out a severe thunderstorm warning for the backyard, so... Of course, the squirrel knew that already. Hey, little buddies, you rode out a severe thunderstorm. Good job. Smart. Get under the eave and lay flat as a pancake. The storm is uh, starting to taper off. That's a good old Florida lightning storm there. And, uh, of course, you know, there's a lot of lightning with the storm when the worst of it passed, but a lot of people get zapped by going out and uh, outside when the storm's starting to pass. You can get a lot of strong lightning strikes on the back side of these storms, obviously. One thing I don't want to do is unnecessarily uh, distract the squirrel from their natural routine. So, like, you know, raising the blinds, causing a major consternation or opening the door right now might distract them from their natural decision-making process. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of kick back and watch them and see when when they decide to relax and make their break for it. You can see uh, this particular squirrel right here hasn't moved a muscle in something like 10-15 uh, minutes Really impressed with their intelligence, composure. That's how animals survive. You can see the wind has died down. The rain is starting to die down. And the lightning is becoming a little more infrequent, but it's still raining hard out there. It would be interesting to see First thing you look for is when does the squirrel relax its muscles and take and, and start to move again? You know, what kind of environmental clues does the squirrel use? I mean, just like, uh, well, even more so than humans, they're in tune with their nature, so they're feeling the wind, the pressure, the rain, the sound of the lightning in there. It just, just relaxed a little bit. Kind of he was totally tensed up flat, now he's relaxed just a bit. And of course you can even probably hear here that it's really slacking off as far as the storm intensity. <laughs> After this, probably the, if you're going to survive the storm, probably the first thing he wants to do is have a peanut. You guys are going to have some stories to tell when you get back to the clan, huh? That's really calming down now. There you go. You did it, dude. <laughs> How about that? Way to go, guys. You should have come in here. 
I would have let you in the house, man. That's probably the biggest storm you guys ever rode out, huh? What do you think? Yeah. That was a wild experience out there, huh? Next time, just come in the house. That's really a fascinating experience. Now, the one up in the, above the lights in a whole lot better shape. You okay there, buddy? Ah, yeah. That was a bad storm, dude. got the worst of it there. You should come in the house next time. Yeah. Tell me about it. He's been breathing hard because he's been tensed up for over 15 minutes. The other, <laughs> the other one's yawning. Yeah, just another day in the office, huh, dude? Come on down. <laughs> no, <laughs> makes you hungry for a peanut, doesn't it? Eh? Don't make him go out in the rain. Oh, this is the guy here. What are you? <laughs> you guys could have come in. He's like, <laughs> there you go. Nothing like a peanut after a. It's still thundering out there, dude. There you go. There. At least. There. Go back up. Oh, what are you doing, man? Don't go out there. Yeah, he said, I had enough of this. I'm going back to my tree. <laughs> the other one's a little wiser. He's going to eat his peanut up there underneath the light. All right, guys. Hang in there. Talk to you later. What's up, bud? You're a hero, man. You did it. You drove right. Hey, <laughs> you should have come in the house when you. <laughs> I told you you could come in and ride out the storm. Now you want to come in the house. Here you go. All right, take a break now. You need a break. Here you go. Oh, yeah, there. Hey, <laughs> you, you deserve it, man. Good job. It was quite a storm, and the first time I've ever observed squirrels caught in a storm before. So, I mean, they're caught in trees all the time during a storm, so their behavior is probably somewhat similar. <laughs>